Praise the Lord. Welcome to the webcast of Change Ministries. I am Pastor Gerald Roberts. We here at Change are a body of believers dedicated to helping God's people by advancing them, nurturing them, guiding and equipping them. We would like to welcome you to come out and worship with us Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., Thursdays for Bible study at 7 p.m. The address is 44004 14th Street. We're located one block south of Grand River Avenue. Can.
saints of God, this is about the Lord. This ain't about me. And we got to overcome me. We got to overcome man so we can be about God's business. Okay. Speak. 
Whatever it is that you want, we avail ourselves that you can have it today, God. Whatever it is that you want to do today, God, we say do it, Lord. Have your way in us and through us, God. Father God, whatever it is that you want today, Father, we ask that you protect our minds, God, from any distractions, Lord. We ask that you protect our hearts, God, from any distractions, Lord. We ask that you protect our ears, God, from any distractions, Lord. That you can fill us up, speak to us, transform us, and renew us today. Yeah. The moment you began praying, a command was given. I am here to tell you what is, what it was. Pause God. right there. The angel of the Lord appeared to the prophet, and he told him the moment that you began praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God had an answer. Oh, that ought to give somebody. That ought to give somebody some joy right now. Look, look, look. Somebody even sit there talking about they've been waiting on God to answer their prayer. But I came to tell you this morning that God already answered the prayer. The moment that you by faith began to ask him, God already had an answer. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, Jerry. Hold on. I got to speak to myself now. Hold on. 
hold your composure because I'm happy about this thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, Sister Kira, go ahead. I am here to tell you what it was, for God loves you very much. Now listen, so can so you can understand the meaning of your vision. Understand, he says, he says, I'm here to tell you. Because uh, God loves you. And he wants you to understand the meaning of your desire, your vision, the thing you've been dreaming about. The minute you prayed and asked God, for God already has an answer. And hallelujah, he says, let me help you understand some things. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that if you have to have a title for this message, that my promise is already done. Uh-oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. of seven has been decreed for your people and your holy city to put down rebellion, to bring an end to sin, to atone for guilt, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to confirm the prophetic vision, and to anoint the most holy place. Okay, see, 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 here it is, here it is. Pastor gonna let you know the truth. God asked you to pray. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's gonna allow a period yeah. For you to clean up your closet. Oh, my right. the devil out. Right. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some things going on in your life that he needs you to get an understanding that they don't lie and don't belong where you had it to. There's some things going on. He said, you got to get out of the way. I'm going to let you know the answer. And my answer is yes. But in the meantime, while I'm working on manifesting the yes for you, there's some things that you got to get in order. They'll give you a little time. Go ahead, Sister Kier. Now listen and understand. Now Seven. listen and understand. Seven. Some Seven. of us too busy talking and too many busy whining mm. and wonder why God hadn't answered the prayer. Amen. To understand that He's already answered the prayer. We too busy crying and saying, "When is God gonna move?" Oh my God. That we can't hear. He's already moved. He's already moved. Listen. Go ahead, Seven sets of seven plus 62 sets of seven will pass from the time the command is given to rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one comes. I says, I'm going to give you some little time to re rebuild and reestablish my holy place. Uh -oh. He says, I'm giving you a little bit of time to clean up the temple. And I'm not talking about the building. Hallelujah. In this message that I'm speaking about, I'm talking about this temple. God is going to give you a little time to rebuild the temple because the blessing that he has for you is going to require the temple to be in divine order. And in order for you to operate in the thing that you ask God for and for you to manifest the blessing that God manifested on your behalf, the temple has to be in divine order because God's not about to give the blessing that you ask for to a temple that's not worthy of honor. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God. Oh, my God. Okay, keep on reading. Jerusalem you, will be rebuilt with streets and strong defenses despite the perilous times. I'm sorry. Perilous times. Perilous times. Yeah, no matter what you're going through right now, 
And no matter how trivial it may seem to you, how, how hard it may seem, these perilous times that you're going through, he promised that the temple shall be rebuilt. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Understand this, understand this. He said the holy place is going to be rebuilt, amen. And it's going to be rebuilt and it's going to be fortified. Tell somebody that God's about to restructure your life. He's about to reorganize your life. He's about to clean it up and he's about to fortify it. And he's going to prepare, he's preparing you for the thing that you've been seeking him for. Tell somebody he's making you a fortified city. Tell somebody with the blessings of the Lord make a rich man of no sorrow. He's Tell somebody you won't be able to conceal the blessings that God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep on going. After this period of 62 sets of seven, mm. the anointed one will be killed, mm. appearing to have accomplished nothing. Mm. And a ruler will arise whose armies will destroy the city and the temple. Now listen, 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 listen. Listen, you will go through something. And it's going to appear that you lost the battle. Mm. Mm. It's even going to appear that God turned his back on you. Mm. Mm. But the thing that you're going through is only for temporary purposes to keep you praying, mm. to keep you seeking God, and to remember who it is that you're serving. He don't want you to get a big head. He don't want you to think it's about you. He don't want you to think that you weren't able to do it, because truth be told, you weren't able to do it. He don't want you to think that it was done in your timing, because your timing don't add up to God's timing. He wants you to know that those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. So while you're waiting on the Lord, hallelujah, he's going to allow you to be knocked down so that you have to get back up and tell somebody, while I was waiting on the Lord, he revealed himself to me. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. The end will come with a flood and war, and its miseries are decreed from the time to the very end. Tell somebody you're going to cry a little bit. You're going to cry. You're cry a little bit. Mm. The praise is on the way. Mm -hmm. is on the way. Mm. He will make a treaty with the people for a period of one set of seven. Mm. But after half this time, he will put an end to the sacrifices and offerings. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me that God is going to allow somebody else to see me and hold my blessing? Mm. <laughs> you mean to tell me that God is going to let me think that he gave my blessing to somebody else? You mean to tell me that God is going to allow me to think that somebody else has mine only so that he can come in halfway through the time period that they thought they had your possession for God to show himself strong on my back? Then a climax to all his terrible deeds. He will set up a scary religious object that causes dis discretion mm -hmm. until the end that has been decreed is poured out on this defiler. In the third year of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Daniel, also known as Bepalazar, has another vision. It concerns certain events to happen in the future, times of war and great hardship, and Daniel understood what the vision meant. When the vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three weeks. All that time I had eaten no rich food or meat, had drunk no wine, had had used no fragrant oils. On April 23rd, as I was standing beside the great Tigris River, I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen clothing. Tell somebody, tell somebody, some things only come out through fasting and praying. Every now and then you gotta push your way away from some things. Every now and then you gotta sacrifice the things that give you pleasure so that God can start to speak to you again. Every now and then you gotta find out what it is that's blocking your, your, your relationship with God and God speaking to you. Daniel said that he had to push himself away from pleasant food and he had to get away from meat or wine and he had to take that in his mouth and he had to get away from any present or he even had to stop anointing himself. What you talking about, Pastor? Because sometimes you just need to lay out in the 
presence of the Lord and quit going through your religious rituals and allow God to speak to you. Sometimes we too busy sucking and jiving and talking to you there and doing all the things that the church has taught us that we have to do when God says just get on your knees, lay out in my presence, push back fast and pray and seek my face so I can reveal to you. Yes. What's about to go down? Tell somebody, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about to break loose in here. Yes, you better prepare yourself. Yes, yeah, 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 you know, even anyway, when y'all spiritual, uh, hallelujah. Tell, tell the right person that the Holy Spirit is about to break loose in here. You better prepare yourself. Oh, wait a minute, that ain't the right person either. Amen. The Holy Spirit is about to break loose in here. You better prepare yourself. As I was standing beside the Great Tigris River, I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen clothing with a belt of pure gold around his waist. Mm -hmm. His body looked like a dazzling gem. From his face came flashes of lightning, and his eyes were like flaming torches. His arms and feet shone like polished bronze, and his voice was like a roaring of a vast multitude of people. Mm -hmm. I, Daniel, am, a, am the only one who saw this vision. The men with me saw nothing, but they were suddenly terrified and ran away to hide. Hold, hold, hold right there, hold right there. Listen, listen. Listen, when God begins to speak to you in this season, you walk in with some people who cannot see the vision that God has for you. Everybody around you can't understand what God is saying to you. Everybody around you can't receive the blessing that God has for you. And truth be told, they don't look like cowards because they don't understand what God's about to do to you. But I can't even tell you this morning that the more of them run, let them run. The more of them try to get away, let them get away. Quit trying to hold on to people who don't deserve to be in the presence of the Lord with you. They can take his glory. They can receive his sovereignty. They can understand his vastness. So when God showed up, they had to run. The reason why Daniel could see it, because God Daniel had a perfect relationship with a perfect God. But you got a perfect God, and you're going to have a perfect relationship with him. And because of your perfect relationship, God's going to speak to you, and nobody else will be able to receive what God is saying to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Don't worry about them, honey. Because they ain't got place in your vision. Amen. So I was left there all alone to watch this amazing vision. My strength left me. My face grew deathly pale and I felt very weak. When I heard him speak, I fainted and lay there with my face to the ground. Just then, a hand touched me and lifted me, still trembling to my hands and knees. And the man said to me, O oh, Daniel, greatly loved of God, listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. Hold, hold right there, listen, 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 listen. Understand this, he said, oh, oh great love of God. Oh. I don't know about nobody else in this room, but I'm glad to know that God loves me. Yes, God. I'm so glad to know, hallelujah, that when God came into my life, I was able to recognize him. And when he began to speak over my life, I was able to fall down in his presence. I'm so glad, hallelujah, when I saw the sovereignty of God and realized how powerful he was, that I was able to fall to my knees and I Somebody, it's humbling time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Because God's about to move on your behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the angel of the Lord told David, he said, Get up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I came to tell somebody this morning, it's time for you to get up. Hallelujah. 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 It's no time to cry now. It's no time to wallow in your tears. It's no time to be weak. Yeah, I know you need what God's script is made perfect. Wow. Okay. Wow. Sorry. It's okay. Mm. You can get excited about reading the order. 
It's okay. Okay. Just then, a hand touched me and lifted me, still trembling to my hands and feet. Just then, and this, you had a touch mm -hmm. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Mm. He's in the room. Yes. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. He's in the room. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell somebody it is just about time for me to be touched by God. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, get this other verse here because I'm about to lose control up in here. Okay. And the man said to me, Oh, Daniel, greatly loved God. Listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. When he had said this to me, I stood and still trembling with fear. Then Daniel said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. And I have come to answer I mean, I have come in answer to your prayer. Let, 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 tell somebody, shout now. Shout now. Because I ain't so. But the Lord said, do not fear. Daniel, from the first day. Yes. I heard Jesus. Not the second day. Not the tenth day. Not in the third year. Not in the fifth year. But on the very first day that you sent your request to God. Yes, yes, yes. So as your words were heard Thank you. from day one, Thank you. and he says, and I have come because of your words. Tell somebody God has already done what you've been waiting on him to do. Five minutes, five minutes, and I'll, I'll, I'll be done, hopefully. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus began to teach the disciples how to pray, mm. he told them, he said that we need to learn how to speak to God and declare some things. Mm -hmm. he, he said that, that, he said, as you recognize how holy he is, the next thing you need to do is say, thy kingdom come, thy mm -hmm. will be done. Yes. Here on earth, as it is in heaven, tell somebody you're done. Done. Yeah, 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 done, done, done. I came to tell you this morning that the problem with most of the body of Christ is that we're waiting for God to do things that are already done. Okay, what you talking about, Pastor? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you get an understanding of what done is, done is the past tense of do. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all still so this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done is the past particle of do. Okay, what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. When, when, when we look at what Jesus said, that you pray for that kingdom to come, that that will be done here on earth as in heaven. He said that when you pray and you ask God, hallelujah, to release the things that are in heaven that will already be destined for you, even before being born in your mother's womb. Any blessing that God had for you, even before creation, that was already done. We just need to ask God to release them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell somebody, I gotta just learn how to release them. He said, he said, from the very first day that you made your petition known to God, it was already done. Saints, the promises are already done. We just got to get to it. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just got to get to them. Look, look, we've been asking God, Lord, do this. Lord, do this. But I came to tell you, the way thing we need to do is just be offering ourselves up as a sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. And the more we offer ourselves up to God as a holy sacrifice, the more God's going to reveal and release the blessings that he already has in store for us. Everything that we need, God already has it. Everything that our heart desires, the moment you ask, well, God already did it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I came to tell somebody this morning that God wants to give it to you. He's just giving you this period of time before he releases it for you to get yourself together so that he can manifest great things. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Y'all been saying too. I didn't say mediocre things. Great things. 
I say great things. Because right? anything that comes from heaven, it has to be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so here it is, Saints. Here it is, here it is. Wait, 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 wait. Daniel, an angel appeared to Daniel. He told him, as soon as you prayed, your prayers were answered. God has a decision. The decision was made in heaven. The only thing you got to do is go through the process of turning, changing, cleansing, repenting, and seeking me so that I can release the thing that you yeah. asked for. Somebody was sitting here, we were saying, how long do I have to wait? For God to release my blessing. I can't even tell somebody, God is saying, how long do I have to wait for you to turn so I can bless you? It's God's desire to give it to you. It's God's desire that you be the blessed. But God is saying, in this season, Oh, hallelujah. Where it's already done, it's harvest season. And he said, if you, my people, will turn from your wicked ways today and really see my face, he said, then I will really hear from heaven and heal your land. Amen. It's time for us to declare the kingdom of God being done here in our lives. Kingdom citizens deserve to live in the kingdom land. That's right. Oh, okay. That's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amen. How can I be a kingdom citizen and I'm living beneath the king's plan? Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can I declare? That I'm blessed and highly favored. Mm -hmm. And begging. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. he said, I'll never see the righteous. That's right. Yes. Yes. No, see, begging. God is calling for his people yes. in this season, mm -hmm. in this harvest season, to prepare. Tell somebody, prepare. Prepare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be prepared. Look, look, look. Tell somebody, get ready. Get ready. Tell somebody it's already done. It's already done. Now you do. You do. What you need to do. What you need to do. So God can do, so God can do. what's already done. Wait a minute. 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 From the very moment you ask God for deliverance, you were delivered. Yes, right. But God says, show me that you want to be delivered. Oh, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The very moment that you ask God to heal you, he said, now show me you're going to walk in your healing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The very moment that you told the Lord to enlarge your territory, he wanted to see if you were going to walk like your territory of the The very moment that you asked God to give you perfect peace, he wanted to see if you were going to stop worrying. Amen. 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 
Ghost, your seasoned saints. Daniel prayed and he asked the Lord, he said, look, this is what I need. Mm. This is what I want done. Amen. The moment that he asked, God granted his petition. Mm -hmm. And he came back and said, but for this period of time, clean your closets out. Mm -hmm. Kick the devil out. Delete that number. Mm -hmm. yes. Quit going to that place. Mm -hmm. Get them out your bed. Mm -hmm. Get them out your head. Mm -hmm. He said, for this period of time, I need you to show me that you're ready to possess the promise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you for and while you live, thank you for your word. In preparation yes. for the promise, God is sending a messenger with the blessing. Angel showed up. Look at God and look at how he does things. He didn't send any old angel. He sent Gabriel. He sent the archangel. In all his royal splendor. Look, aren't you glad that when God sends your blessing and confirmation for your blessing that he sends it in a big package? Oh, man. Y'all missed that one, oh, yeah. yeah. too. With a bow on yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He sends it in a big patch. Yeah. In a mighty big way. Yeah. God don't deal with me, younger son. No, oh, that ain't my kind of father. Yeah. That ain't my kind of father. And you'll leave where the bowls go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's how God does it. Amen. But in this harvest season, Saints of God, we need to be really seeking the face of God. Yeah. Humbling ourselves. Pray to the Lord. Because I don't want to miss this harvest season and have to wait for the next harvest season. Mm. You all remember Joshua and Caleb? God told the people of Israel to go in and spy out the land. Yeah. Check out the blessing. That I have for you. He didn't say that I'm going to do. He said that I have for yeah. you. The people went. They came back. Some of those that went, they came back and they did just like the, the people did when they was with Daniel and the angel appeared. The blessing was too vast for them to handle, so they said they weren't ready. But Joshua and Caleb, mm. they said, we are well yeah. able mm. to do this. Saying some of you are fearful mm. of the giants in your life. Mm. Brother, you can slay them. Mm. But I came to tell you this morning that God didn't tell them to worry about the giants. Right. That was their own flesh and their own fear. God said, go in and check out the blessing that I have in store for you. And listen, here it is, here it is. If they had came back and started testifying of the goodness of God and all that he had done, versus being caught up on the giants in the land, they would have moved right on in and God would move the giants right on out. Oh, what you talking about, Pastor? Yeah, 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 yeah. Quit focusing on the giants in your life, the things that are meant for God to handle, and you focus in on what God called you to do and be. And you do and be everything that God has called you to do and be. And watch God handle all the giants in your life. Just like those ran when the angel appeared. God allowed Joshua and Caleb to live to be old men. Mm -hmm. And everybody else that was around them, all the naysayers and the ones that couldn't believe, God allowed them to watch, allowed them to watch them all die out. That's right. Then he came back and he spoke to Joshua in the 13th chapter, chapter of Joshua. And he told him, Joshua said, I'm an old man. And God spoke to him and said, but yet there's still more land to take. Uh oh, what you talking about? I 
came to tell somebody that when you hold fast to your faith and believe what the Lord has said he's going to do, when he doesn't, he still has something else in store for you for your faith. Amen. So look, don't get caught up in this one blessing. Because that ain't how our God does it. He's going to give you this one when you show yourself faithful. But when you keep on living for you, he had for him, he has something else in store for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Here's my revelation. God wants us to live in harvest season. Uh oh. Mm. Yes, yes. God wants us to live. In harvest season. Yes. What you talking about, Pastor? Abundant. Abundant. He said that I come that you might have life yeah. and have it more abundantly. Yes. 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 Live in harvest season. Yes. I don't know about nobody else in the room, but I'm ready to live in my heart. Amen. Amen. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm ready to walk in my heart. I'm, I'm glad that every time I open my door, I can keep saying, He keeps on doing great things for me. I'm I, every time I turn around, He's making a way. See, 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 this is the testimony of the saints. Victory. Victory. God keeps on doing great things. Amen. It's harvest season. And the promise is already done. Thank you, Lord. God heard you yes, the Lord. first time that you asked. He was just waiting for you to clean up your closets. Amen. Amen. Prepare space for him. Amen. So that he could abide. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you today for this word. Yes, we do, God. Lord, we thank you that you promise that if we wait on you, you will renew our strength. We thank you, Lord, that your answers are granted. From the first time we prayed, as you spoke to John and said, as long as we ask you in your name, then anything that we ask for God, it shall be given. So we thank you today, Lord, for blessing us with spiritual blessings, and that your will shall be done in our lives. And the kingdom of God shall begin to manifest uh, yes. in our lives. Yes. We thank you for kingdom blessings. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for blessings that will shock. Thank you, Jesus. And stir our own hearts and cause us even to be drawn closer to you. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for great testimonies. We thank you, Lord, that our faith is being increased. And our wisdom enlarged. In Jesus' great name. It is so. And so it is. Now, I, I, I just need a few faithful people who believe the word of the Lord, who don't mind yeah. giving God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. To just stand to your feet and begin to thank the Lord for 